Hi, welcome to my views and news. Three new stories. Firstly, Ethiopian PM Abi had to face a protest uh, on his visit to a European country. Where is he? Why did people protest? Uh, a video for you from this demonstration against the Ethiopian Prime Minister. Secondly, does Ethiopia want to annex Eritrea? A report aired by an Ethiopian state television channel aired some content which is very controversial. It could lead to further escalation of tension between the two countries. Thirdly, a social media campaign against an archbishop of the Ethiopian Orthodox Church. Who is he? What did he say? Why are people protesting? Who are criticizing him? Details in this video. First of all, uh, PM Abi is visiting Germany. He was seen in Berlin today with Olaf Scholz, German Chancellor where G20 countries are holding a meeting with African countries. Uh, Compact Africa Summit is the name of this uh, summit being organized in Europe, in Germany, I think. Yamabi, several African leaders are there. Yamabi arrived in Berlin, welcomed by Olaf Scholz, and he briefed Olaf Scholz about Pretoria, about uh, the ongoing talks between Ola and Ethiopian government, etc. Germany called for implementation of Pretoria deal, called for withdrawal of Eritrean military, called for negotiation to resolve the conflicts in Amhara and other regions of Ethiopia. And Pimabi uh, was in Berlin, Ethiopians living their protested. Amharas, I would say, because most of the slogans were those which are mostly chanted by uh, Amharas who have been protesting against the Prime Minister since last year. They chanted slogans while Pimabi's uh, convoy was passing uh, in Berlin. They chanted slogans like, uh, Abi is a fascist. He's a genocider. Abi is an Amhara a genocide. This protest was organized by Amhara diaspora community. Obviously embarrassing for the Prime Minister. Uh, though such protests do happen. But uh, now we're seeing that uh, Amhara people, Amhara diaspora community, Members, they protest wherever Ethiopian government officials uh, visit in Europe, in America. Play for you from this protest. Before that, this summit is very crucial for Ethiopia. Why? Uh, Pim Abi's government uh, wants to get uh, debt payment suspension. China agreed. China has granted two-year suspensions to Ethiopia. For two years, Ethiopia won't pay back any debt to, uh, any loans to China. Ethiopia wants a similar relief from G20 countries too. That is why this summit is crucial. Secondly, to get a bailout package from IMF or World Bank, Ethiopia needs guaranteed from creditors. The creditors will write to IMF and World Bank that Ethiopia is in a position to uh, pay its debts. So that is why Ethiopia should be given the bailout package. This visit of Ethiopian PM Abi is very crucial for Ethiopian economy. Let's see what happens. We'll try to update you. Watch the video showing uh, Amhara people protesting in Berlin against the Prime Minister of Ethiopia while his convoy was on his way in Berlin, Germany.
Second was, does Ethiopia want to annex Eritrea? It has never been official position of Ethiopia that it wants to annex Eritrea. Eritrea is a recognized country. I think Ethiopia also recognized Eritrea. So Ethiopia made some claims to Red Sea, to ports recently. It does not mean that it is official policy of Ethiopian government that it wants to annex Eritrea. Ethiopian state media aired a report, uh, it has aired a report showing a controversial map. The map shows uh, Ethiopia, but uh, it shows uh, Eritrea as part of Ethiopia. This map is very controversial. It means that Ethiopian state media is fueling the already ongoing tension between the two countries. Whenever Ethiopia talks about the port access, the Red Sea, Eritreans say it's a violation of their sovereignty that, uh, that Ethiopia wants to annex Eritrean territories. And now when Ethiopian state media is showing a controversial map, imagine what would the Eritreans say. Obviously, they would say that uh, Ethiopia wants to colonize Eritrea. No compromise on Eritrean sovereignty or integrity. No one is going to support Ethiopia. Even no opposition Eritrean groups are going to support Ethiopia. If Ethiopia continues this narrative uh, showing such controversial maps, question is, uh, was this map shown by mistake or was it intentional? I think Ethiopian statement should apologize if it was shown by mistake. And uh, the state media will apologize if it was a mistake. If it is a deliberate act of provocation, you will see no apology. But I think uh, Ethiopia should tone down its rhetoric a little. If Ethiopia starts claiming Eritrean territories, uh, maybe other uh, countries in the region will start making claims to Ethiopian territories. Where will it stop? It will stop uh, nowhere. So uh, let's hope that there is correction uh, by Ethiopian state media. So I have not seen any correction so far. Lastly, yours, an Orthodox uh, Archbishop is under fire, a social media campaign, some criticizing him, lashing out at this Archbishop. Who is he? What did he say? What did he do? His name is Abu Irmias, Archbishop of North Wollo zone of the Amhara region. In North Wollo, there is a Lali Bala. We know that uh, Fano fighters entered the Lali Bala city uh, this week. Uh, flights to Lali Bala airport uh, were suspended. Uh, there was fighting inside Lali Bala airport, inside Lali Bala city. Uh, some damage to Lalibala, centuries old rock hewn churches too, though government denies. But according to some sources, uh, there was slight damage to one of these churches. And Abune Irmias called for protection of churches. He said that Lalibala historical churches were in danger. Later, we saw that Abune Irmias appeared with Ethiopian military officers and Lalibala government officials. He and others held a meeting with Lali Bala residents. And there he called protection of uh, Lali Bala churches. In his presence, 
government officials and army officials they criticized fano leveled accusations against fano he was sitting there he did not condemn the speech of the military officers and uh, uh, government official there that is why pro fano news outlets and uh, activists are now oh, they have started a campaign against abu irmias criticizing his participation in the meeting sitting with the end of officers criticizing fano saying they say that abu irmias shouldn't have attended that meeting uh, he should apologize or action will be taken there are some elements which are threatening abu irmias could there be attack on abu irmias i don't think so because fano fighters uh, get support from orthodox church uh, Uh, leaders i wouldn't say church is backing fano but we have seen that fano fighters use monasteries churches as their shelters in some cases we saw that especially in east gujam when military launched an operation in debre ilias uh, their monastery of the those church was being used by fano fighters as a base skandar was there other fano fighters were there too military stormed the monastery and uh, dozens of people were killed some say hundreds uh, including some orthodox church priests so when ermias uh, is not in danger but uh, he is being threatened that he shouldn't be part of such meetings he shouldn't criticize fano he shouldn't tolerate criticism in his presence against fano by endf or uh, ethiopian uh, local government take watch